Right, we're Cliff Accuray and Federico after today's game against Brentford. 3-1 win. Cliff, how did you feel Federico did in the match today? I thought he was excellent. This has been his best game. Um, everything we asked of, of him, uh, he, he completed. He, he went above and beyond his duties today and um, gave us a real uh, solid base for us to springboard our counter-attacks from because wherever their threat was up front, he was there covering around and winning the ball back for us, so he was spot on today. Federico, you were very impressive today. How do you feel it went? Uh, of course I feel like happy. Uh, most important is the win, the three points. And yeah, feel great. Fantastic. Cliff, how was, it, how was the whole game for you? How was the game as a whole for you today? Um, I thought the boys played really well. Um, we had loads of opportunities. That was probably the more disappointing thing that we had the opportunities to take the lead and put the game to bed. But through you know uh, sloppy final pass or just not being ready to, you know, I can remember one that was cut back and two of our own players got in each other's way when you know it should have been an, an empty an empty goal. That was quite frustrating, but once they sort of organised themselves for the second half, then I put them back into their positions that they were sort of neglecting. They they have got only one team in it in the second half, really. Federico, um, conceding the goal after the pressure we put on them in the first 20 minutes, did it make you feel that this wasn't going to be our day? No, because I trust all the players, so we know that we shall need to do like um, their own jobs. Yeah. So we know that it was a bit like confused the first minutes, but to be honest, I think we start good. But the goal make like that sensation that oh, come on, but we do like well the second half because yeah. we know that the first half wasn't so good and Cliff was like angry to be honest. So <laughs> that's the truth. But that's important. <laughs> that's important. You need to show us like the the mistakes. So yeah. I think the second half was completely like different game. We improved a lot, and then like the goal. Yeah. With time would come, so that's what happens. Fantastic. Aside from Federico, a lot of people are talking about Tom Blackwell's performance today. How did he do for you, Cliff? Um, he, you know, he's, he's continuing the form that he's picked up this month, and he's been uh, exceptional. He's now becoming more of a goal threat. He's, he's settled, settled into you know the week in, week out um, task that we've been asking of him. Um, and, and I'm delighted for him to be honest because he's making it really easy to put him in the team now and um, he's, a, he's a smart boy, he knows exactly what's expected of him yeah. and, uh, and he's one of the few players that can probably play in any position but now he's finding his feet um, and now he's sort of given a 8, 9 out of 10 in any position I put him and he's really, really coming on strong and he's only going to get better. Absolutely. Federico, what's it like being in a team with such a real attacking threat like Cuggles United? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, the team are good at attacking. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, it's good to be to be part of this group, like the, all the players that play in the forward position, yeah. they have amazing quality. Yeah. Since like the first three, four men that start the game, and the men that start in the bench, they have amazing potential to do like better in a couple of next like more four years. Yeah. And you know that when you start the game and you play with these men in your team, you know that you're gonna score goals. So you, you know that you just need to like focus and make your job in defense because the goal will come. Yeah. yeah. That's the best thing like because they are younger and they have such like big potential. I'm happy for, for them to score many goals. Fantastic. Makes your job a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff, 92 goals in the league alone this season. Would you like to hit that magic 100? Uh, I would love to. Um, we're not going to take it for granted. We're not going to just assume it's going to happen because you know uh, we've got to work hard if we're going to get yeah. to that that kind of scoreline. But um, you know the, ma the main thing for us is to win the games in hand and uh, see where it takes us. But if along the way we can hit that marker, it's even better because we know we've done something well. We've got that attack inside of the game right. And, um, you know, it's, it's something to push forward for next season. Federico, for the remainder of the season, what are your hopes for the rest of the season? No, of course, like, it's game by game because we have, like, the hope to go and go forward. And I think it's important, like, play game by game like it's the last game. Yeah. Because every game now is like a final. 
Absolutely. So, and I think the finals are to win. So the most important is three points, but be focused, everyone in own jobs. And I think in the end, it will be like a good thing for Cogosville and all of us. That's the most important. Yeah. Absolutely. Cliff, you will give you the last word. What are your feelings going into the next game? Um, still um, getting over the stresses of this game. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll enjoy this one for the, for the rest of the night and then get my head down and start doing the research on Mayan Baker. Again, um, they're one of the teams that beat us uh, at the start of the season. So we have to be, be really uh, on our guard against them because they're another team that, probably one of the few teams that, see ya, they're one of, one of the few teams that genuinely outplayed us and beat us yeah. and um, you know they really surprised everyone at the start of the season so uh, we've got to be you know, I know they've had a few people uh, go missing but they're still going to be a threat to us same with Frankfurt we knew that they're going to come off strong and uh, we just have to be mentally tough and just make sure whatever happens we, we you know, galvanise ourselves and keep going to the final whistle because you know nothing's over until it's over absolutely well guys Thank you very much, Cliff Acuron. Thank you. And Federico. Thank you very much. Cheers.